And when you were talking about the World Trade Organization and how it uh, really uh, bypasses or makes our Constitution impotent, uh, and there are other situations like this, uh, What are your, can you expand on that? I mean, have we really lost our Constitution? Well, basically what, what happens is uh, in the Constitution, uh, we have a, the treaty provision says that if the United States uh, accepts a treaty and signs a treaty, then we're obligated uh, as though it were in the Constitution uh, for that treaty. Now, when the World Trade Organization membership came up in 1994, the uh, uh, Clinton administration did not have enough votes to get the two-thirds majority that they needed to pass it. So uh, the World Trade Organization membership was set up as an executive agreement. An executive agreement is a device that requires approval of 50% in the House and 50% in the U.S. Senate. And because of the way it is structured, agreements on uh, an international agreement on, uh, uh, with an executive agreement always has a provision in it. And the provision is that the president can send to the other parties a letter, very simple, the United States hereby withdraws from the WTO and our obligations end within at a point six months uh, down the road. But we're treating it as a treaty and as a treaty, what we're in effect agreeing is that we will abide by the decisions that are made by the WTO. 87% of the membership of the WTO are developing countries. So we've created an organization where developing countries have the majority of votes in an organization. Uh, my argument and the argument of others is that the United States has had this experience before us. We formed our country after the Revolutionary War with the Articles of Confederation. And as we experimented and used the Articles of Confederation, what we found is they were insufficient to the country. And so, at that point, we created, uh, went back again, did it again, and created the Constitution, which is one of the you know, all-time great legal documents for people, by which people rule themselves. Uh, we're at the point with the WTO that we need to go back and rewrite it, if necessary, leave the WTO. And, but the reality is we cannot continue the way we are. Uh, we really are, as a country, we're basically bankrupt right now. Uh, and the only way we're going to work it out is we're going to need uh, a new global trade structure, new regs on um, finance, uh, a new sense of honesty and non-exploitation uh, with our own government, etc. And hopefully, whoever wins will understand this and get on with the job. The American people will support it. You know, we haven't even begun to see the rage here. Wait till the American people over these holidays take time to look at the 401k savings, uh, understand that the pension funds that they were depending on to retire are not going to be there, that they may have to work two or three uh, additional years. There's real rage coming. If you get that kind of rage, you can make sure it's